Some barbers, man, they cut your hair now, though, I think because they be jealous, man. <laughs> Yo, real talk. No, real talk. that's some real talk, bro. All right, YouTube, we got an elite waiver in the building. Check it out. How old are you, bro? If you don't mind me asking. 61. 61 waiver. Put your head down for me. Look at this. Doesn't get much better than this, folks. 61 years old. All right, bro, what we doing? We doing like a light trim, like the two? Yeah, two and right? a half or two? Yeah. What you usually do? Two and a half? Two and a half. Light yeah. taper. Yeah, make this real cool. Gotcha, gotcha. And just, Enhancements and yeah, all that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it. All right, YouTube. So first step when you're cutting a waiver, you always want to comb their hair out. All right? This establishes um, kind of the true length of their hair. Now, even with most waivers, they usually come in wearing a do-rag, which is cool. I don't have a problem with that. Um, but the hair is still going to be compressed down. Um, so you just want to comb it with like a fine tooth comb just to raise it up. And we're cutting his hair down with a two and a half. So I'm not even going to close the lever. His hair looks great with a two and a half. This is his length. This is the length he likes. So we're going to stick with it. So as you can see, I'm going very slow. I'm not winging it. I'm, I'm, this is precision right here. And the reason he comes to me, he tells me this all the time, is because I had waves before. So this is just a fact that, <clears throat> and 360 GZ said it first. If you had waves, typically you know how to cut waves. So, and this, this is the truth, before I had waves, I don't know if you guys remember in 2019, like I was a waiver waiver. Just for like a year, I really knew what I was doing. So I know what I'm doing with a waiver. It's not always about how clean the taper is and align with them. It's it's usually about the waves. Like they're just worried about the waves, the, the preservation of them. So we're keeping this taper low, super low. So I'm working with my two guard right now. And with waivers, they're just gonna have crevices and, and and harder blending areas because of the waves. So you saw I switched from the two, that two wasn't working. So I just went with that one, started flicking with like the corners cause it just wasn't, when you can't do your regular steps on a waiver. I don't care what anyone says. You gonna end up taking that thing up way too high. You just gotta free, free, free hand it pretty much. Like just play it, play by play. So I'm using a lot of the corners. Like I said, it's not about just putting your steps in, running through the system. That's why I don't really believe in having a system like to fade and to cut. I used to, but it's it's it's, it's really by hair texture. Want a free haircut? Go to this link down below for more info. But it's really just you gotta play it play by play by hair texture, by their head shape, you know, by the different crevices they have in their scalp. All that, it all plays a part. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. This side was a little bit easier. I had to get all technical on y'all. I know a lot of y'all just watch these vids just to, for that ASMR, you know, satisfying hair falling off, but sometimes I gotta break it down to you guys, just a little bit. Appreciate all the new people watching the vids. I definitely noticed the support and I appreciate all of you guys. So for the back, same thing, but I'm gonna kind of bring it up a little bit. Most waivers wouldn't wouldn't have told me to do this. Like they usually like it as low as possible, but he doesn't like how it's like flappy in the back and puffy. So he usually tells me to trim all around his ear and stuff and just to uh, make the taper last longer too. And I'm using my Mythics right now to um, do this taper in the back. I was switching around just based on what was cutting right. So right here, I tried to go up, it wasn't cutting right, so I went down and then I went back up. So you just gotta improvise it, man. And notice at the top, I'm like flicking, cause it's like, it's wave so you you can freehand it kind of scoop out to not make it a harsh guideline as you
as you can see, I'm scooping out, but very minimally, like at the very, very, very bottom. So I'm detailing with my zero guard just to bring that taper to life. And then I, I decided to hit it with some clip over comb with a guard arm just to be safe. Just notice how I'm being very careful and precise. So around the ear, usually on a waiver, I wouldn't take it this low, but you guys heard the consultation. This was important to him taking this area down low because when they get home and brush it and it starts curling up, puffing on their ear, that's annoying for a waiver. So we took this area down a little bit lower than usual. Same thing for this side, I didn't show it, but we took it down. So for the hairline, I'm gonna take my one guard lever open and literally go on the very, very edges. So you saw how I almost took a little bit too much off right there, but I, I, I hesitated. That's what you gotta do with a waiver, man. So I'm gonna prep the skin with some alcohol, sprayed a little bit of hairspray, and now we're gonna start the line up. So I'm starting in the middle and giving a waiver a crispy lineup is very hard. I don't care what anyone says, quote me on this, it's very hard because the hair is curling up. Waves are laid down curls. So in the front, it's still gonna be those laid down curls. Even if you like take it down a little bit, you're gonna have hair missing because the way waves work, sometimes it clumps hair together in, in groups. You know what I'm saying? So play by play, quote me on that, play by play. So we lining the C cup now on the other side. Now we're going to spray some enhancements. I use Tomb 45. I believe this is the black slash brown color. Yes, it is. And we're going to put the pencil on most of his lineup. I didn't do the very front. I just did it up to that. Shout out Easy Blade. Use my promo code. It's on the screen for a discount. And we just gonna hit them corners. Now this is very important, but you also this is also the very the most risky part: freehand trimming. So you're taking your clipper, guard fully closed, and you're going over those loose hairs. You gotta be very careful. You could easily mess up. I took his mustache down just a little bit. We're going to trim it up, get that shape right. This is how my client came in. 61 years old. And this is how he's leaving. This is a banger. It's just, I'm speechless, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It's four. I'm out. Peace.